Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Cask 529. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. And we're coming at you in the afternoon. Uh, I know we just did one of these videos last evening, but uh, Shauna pushed me out of bed mm -hmm. at 4 o'clock this morning, and I was able to land us something special. Um, she was all proud of herself because she thought she knew where this was going to be, and she was right. And so what we've come up with is a bottle of Remus Gatby Reserve. Um, it is bottled, it's distilled and bottled by the Ross and Squibb Distillery in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Um, it's a very, very limited release. Um, it's bottled uh, at cask strength, which is only 98.1 proof. Um, and then it's offered in very, very ultra limited quantities. So we were very fortunate to find it and get our hands on it. I've read where this bottle retails in some places at um, $199. Here in Ohio, it retailed for $249, that was correct? Yes. Um, <clears throat> a, a cool story behind it, really. Um, so Ross and Squibb is a distillery. Remus is one of their brands. Um, and, and the Remus brand is named after George Remus, who was one of the most famous bootleggers of the Prohibition era. Um, what he did was he, as a pharmacist and an attorney, he was able to find loopholes and he was able to distribute his juice for medicinal purposes. So that's kind of how he got around and was successful. Um, he was able to market that and make it medic medicinal. So, um, Pretty slick guy, really, if you think about it. And Squibb, Ross and Squibb Distillery uh, is in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, which is just a few miles from Cincinnati, which is where he ran his empire out of. So um, it kind of all fits together. Um, we're excited to have the bottle, and we really, really, really hope that it was worth the money and worth getting out of bed at 4 o'clock <laughs> in, in the morning. Um, 2022 was the inaugural release of this product, and it was actually released in celebration of the novel, The Great Grad Gadsbury. <laughs> Gadsbury? The ga <laughs> Not Gadsbury, babe. Gadsby. Gadsby. <laughs> hey, but we can call it Gadsbury. Yeah, if you well, want it to. might be like a Gadsbury by the time we're done with Not it. Not a Gadsbury. <laughs> um, sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so, um, the Remus Gatsby uh, features two mash bills. The first one is 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% barley malt. The second one is 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% barley malt. So, it's basically a combination of those two mash bills. Mm -hmm. Um, which makes it kind of unique. So, well, I can tell you, it's a gorgeous bottle. So you would it's have bought it. Just extremely heavy bottle. It is. Um, and this this cork on this thing probably weighs at least two pounds. I would say it is a very heavy metal cork. Oh wow, that's a that's a paperweight. <laughs> Definitely a paperweight. So extremely heavy. As you can tell. Wow. And it does come in this box. I wouldn't say it's a super nice box though, guys. To be honest, it's just kind of a simple box. I've seen much prettier boxes. So hopefully you're not paying for this box as part of it. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure we did. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, last year's box, from the reviews I saw of last year's uh, Gatsby, was it was a little nicer box than that. But maybe they cut corners on the box and put it inside the bottle this Let's year. hope so. So I think we're ready to Without further ado. see what we've got here, right? I think so. Oh, 
um, sweet aromas on the nose. I definitely can tell some caramel. I don't really get any spice or anything like that. Just a tiny bit of spice. It has a little something else hanging out in there, but um, definitely a sweet, sweet nose. So I'm, I'm anxious to try it now. <laughs> We're going. All right. Wow. So. A little bit of char. And I think coming in at 98 proof, it's right in that sweet spot where you can pick up those flavors. Sweet, smooth, definitely caramel. Oh, really good. Got some oak. Some fruit flavors. <clears throat> but it's sweet. But not sweet like the wheat, um, but just a sweetness. More sugary. Kind of like a brown sugar. Yeah, a little bit. You know, it's a... It's a beautiful color too. It's, it's color little, is gorgeous. It's a little unique. Nice and amber, nice brownish color. It's very good. The you can see how viscous it is by how it sticks to the side of the glass. Yeah, the finish. It's it's still hanging in there. Yeah, it um, lasts. It's got a nice finish. So this is a 15 year. I don't know if you had mentioned that, but I read that on the bottle. I did not. Um, so both of the the mash bills, both that were put mm -hmm. in here, they were both um, 15 years. Mm -hmm. And if this wasn't such a beautiful bottle, we might put that one in our decanter. <laughs> yeah, but you can't just discard that. No, but this is very, very smooth. That oak flavor that I had, it kind of stuck in there the whole time from start to finish. Now I guess the big question is, was it worth the money? I personally would have liked to seen it around the $200 mark, but that's not MSRP here in Ohio. Um, I'd have felt better about paying 200 for it. However, it's very good, very smooth. So if it's 250, it's 250, I guess. I don't know if you and I just walked into a store and saw that, if we'd have picked it up. Right. <clears throat> uh, that's generally more than we spend. A lot more. On our bourbon. I think prior to this, your Woodford. 150. Yeah, that was probably the most expensive mm -hmm. bottle we had bought. Um, let's not make a habit out of that. Yeah. For sure. Definitely not. However, <laughs> that is... I'm glad that we have it. Sadly, I, I mean, it's, you won't get another one of those this year, I'm sure. You know what I'm thinking? I think I'm picking up some leather. Of course you are. Of course you are. And to make my mom proud, I think it's saddle leather. <laughs> oh, she'll be proud. Now she'll want to know what color the leather was. She'll ask that. Which horse it was on. If you find that bottle again, would you pay that again for it? Probably would. Um, like, it, I don't know if I want, like, if we had another 2023 one, but if we were to find maybe a 2022 one still out there somewhere, I'd probably want it just so I could comp compare them. And if we can find, you know, next year's if they release one, I think I probably would. I think. Yeah. I, it's good. It's it's smooth. With that being said, I've had really good bourbons that are a lot less too. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it's it's kind of unique in that 
it's you know it's almost at the hundred proof although there's a lot of guys out there that would like to see it over 100 proof and it is hard to believe that that's cask I know. strength i i'm really shocked by that um, but you can really tell that it is it's not it's not deep proofed no it's full of flavor um different flavors are hitting your tongue mm -hmm. throughout it's definitely one that you would want to swirl around in your mouth um to get a good well for lack of better terms that kentucky chew um mm -hmm. <laughs> To get a good it all over your palate because it's it's full of flavors. I feel like I get on the finish like I'm getting uh, maybe some cherry. I am picking up some fruit. I don't. It might be the cherries, but I'm not. Um, right. It's not as distinct, distinguished for me as sometimes it is, but definitely fruity. It's now here's the unique thing too is this this is a neck pour. It is. So imagine the next time we have it. Yeah. That will be exciting. It will be. This is. I think it's a win. I think it is. Um, it's hard to it's hard to recommend it. It's hard to say, hey, you need to go out and get this bottle because, A, we generally wouldn't pay that for a bottle. Right. Do you know what it means by, you, you had mentioned earlier that it was a very limited distribution. When, you know, some people could mean very limited as in, you know, like 20 barrels or is yeah, it limited like in two barrels? I don't or have a quantity like as far as what they, what they actually they, bottle. Okay. Um, I can tell you that this was the only bottle they got at the store today. Mm -hmm. So they didn't get a whole case. Right. They got one. They got one bottle. Okay. So, and that, you know, that's not a huge store, but it's a decent sized store. Mm -hmm. Generally, you know, if they get, uh, oh, say Weller Special Reserve, you know, I've seen them have five cases of it, four or five cases of it on drop day. Right. Um, and I've seen them have several cases of Blanton's and things like that. So f for them to get one bottle of that, I think indicates how limited it is. Yeah. Well, I would say if you do have a chance and you walk by this and you're not afraid of the price tag, um, I'm not going to lie, we were afraid of it especially not ever having it before um, right. to pay that much. How, if you're out at a restaurant in a nice restaurant and they actually have this, I would definitely recommend getting a pour. Um, if you want to pay that for I'm going to say a pour is probably going to be $35, $50. Sure. Uh, so you might as well just go ahead and pick up the bottle so you can have several pours. Uh, it's, it's very good. Unfortunately, on products like that, Finding it is the biggest part of the battle. Well, I am proud of you for getting up this morning. If you find another one of those, tag your it. Oh, <laughs> so we will not probably have another one of these. <laughs> I can tell you there's only one of us that would get out of bed at four o'clock in the morning to go buy bourbon. And it's the same guy that got out of bed at four o'clock this morning to go buy bourbon. I was really proud of you. The alarm only went off once. You didn't hit that snooze button 20 times. I it was, was really rough. proud of you. Well, let me tell you, if I'd have hit it one time, you weren't I wouldn't get have up. got that bottle. No, you're right, because somebody pulled in right behind somebody you. Somebody pulled minutes in the behind parking you. lot 10 minutes behind me. Yep. So, so, I don't know. I just, something told me I needed to get, get up and go. <laughs> so, I, I guess to recap, uh, 98 proof. Uh, 249 retail here in Ohio. I don't know if you found this on a secondary market. Number one, I can't even imagine what they would charge on a secondary market. I don't think I would even consider the price. Now, last night when I discovered this on um, OHLQ, you had mentioned that this, this was just released a few days ago from the distillery. Is that yeah? This year, this the 2023 2023 was just released a few days ago. Okay, so I guess we're really lucky to get it this quickly in Ohio because yeah. I feel like normally it takes yeah we don't generally a few day, like a few weeks to even months to 
Yeah, because generally we're reading all over all over social media people that are already enjoying these things. Yes. <clears throat> and and Ohio hasn't even heard of it yet. Yes. So how I don't know well, maybe because we're a neighboring state I don't know. Hey, I'm happy. Yeah, I, I guess don't question it, just enjoy it. Hey, all right. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you.